सेवेंटीन टेलिंग टाइम इंपॉर्टेंट वर्ब्स फॉर आस्किंग अबाउट एंड टेलिंग टाइम दे आर हैव नो बी टेल एग्जाम्पल How do we ask a question so that we can ask a time or we can tell a time? Okay, so the four verbs are have, no, be, tell. Let's see how the questions are asked and follow it up with the appropriate answers. Question one: Do you have the time? Sure, it's six. So the one way of asking what is the time is, do you have the time? If you have a watch, you will look at your watch and say something like, sure, it's six. Other way of asking a time is, do you know what time it is? How do you ask? Do you know what time it is? What is the appropriate answer for that? You would say, "Sorry, I'm not wearing a watch." Sorry, I'm not wearing a watch. Other way of asking the time is, "What time is it?" What time is it? The appropriate answer for that question would be something like it's five fifty, six o'clock, four thirty, etc. One other way of asking a time with the word "tell." Let's try that out. Can you tell me what time it is, please? Can you tell me what time it is, please? The appropriate answer for that question would be, it's a quarter after two, or it is half past two, half past six, whatever. Important vocabulary that we do we have to remember is. O'clock. What is a o'clock? Zero zero hour. Six o'clock. Six zero zero. Seven o'clock. Seven zero zero. We call it seven o'clock. A quarter after. That is, if it is fifteen minutes after the hour, like three fifteen, we say it as it is a quarter after three. It it is it is. This second. It is. It is a quarter after three. It it is a quarter after three, right? A quarter before. What we call a quarter before that is fifteen minutes before the hour. Something like three forty-five. We call it. It's a quarter before four. Okay. This is. It's a quarter after. Three or four. Here we call it. It's a quarter before four because we are going to. It's going to be four shortly. Half past. When it is thirty minutes after the hour, we call it half past. Example: eleven thirty. We say it. It is half past eleven. Thirty. We call it thirty minutes after the hour, like eleven thirty. It is eleven thirty. Normally, it is easy to tell someone the time is to use a digital format. The easiest way to tell someone the time is to use a digital format. For example, when someone asks you what time it is, you can say it's five thirty instead of it's half past five. We say five thirty, like it's five thirteen. Five thirteen, right? 
or it's phi O2. That is phi O2, not 0. Okay, it is not 0. It, we pronounce this as O. Or we say it is phi 50. Like phi 50. This is the easiest way we tell time. If you don't know the quarter past, half past, quarter before the hour, something like that. Okay. This is called the digital format. Let's see how to give a date. Giving the date. If someone asks for the date, let's see how to answer that question and also see how to ask the question. Example one. Questions. What's today? What's today? Or you can ask ask what day is it today somebody asks you what day is it today you say today is tuesday june 6th today is tuesday june 6th other question is what's the date somebody asks you what's the date if it's, it's june 6th or is 6th of june it would be an appropriate answer it could be like November 11 or 11th of November. Okay? Something like that. You don't have to give the year. <clears throat> there is a difference between day and date. Day means Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, etc. Date means June the 6th, June 6th, January 1, December 10th, etc. When someone asks you the date, it's not necessary to give the year. You don't have to give the year if someone asks you the date. Like someone asks you, what is the date? What's the date? It is June 6. You don't have to say it's June 6, 2009. Okay? I'll just say it's June 6. When someone asks about time in the future or the past, use the year. For example, when were you born? When that is a past thing, right? So you have to say March 25, 1965, or April 10th, 1968, something like that. When someone asks you, when did you arrive in Chennai? When did you arrive in the US? Something like that. You say in 2002 or in 2005, etc. When is the next election? It's going to be the future date, right? It would be no November 2010, 2010. Then you have to give the year. Have a nice time. We'll see you in the next lesson.